What story are you totally, unabashedly, unwaveringly committed to? Now, dude, what are you talking about? Well, all of us have stories that are going on up here all the time. And usually they are one of two or more different things. Oftentimes we don't have multiple stories going on in our heads at the same time. We get to choose which one we're going to focus on and which one we're going to be loyal to. Is it the story of how everything is going in our favor? The story of how we're living our dream life? The story how we are the best version of ourselves right in this present day moment? Or is it the stories of things that haven't worked out? The stories of things not working in our favor, of rejection and loss and lack and difficulty and struggle? What story are you being loyal to? Well, that's what we're going to dig into deeper today. And I'm going to show you why unwavering loyalty to the desire story is the way to live. This is the choice I'm making in my life, and I invite you to join me in it. So if you're on board, come on, my friend, let's dig into the soil of this together. Welcome back to you. I am D. Grant Smith, the growth farmer for personal development through the lens da -da, spirituality and storytelling. Now, why do I always do this thing with the glasses? Well, it's because everything that we see, actually everything that we think we see is our perception of what is there. And so I have these glasses for a reason. You can tell they are gold rimmed. I picked those out because I choose to see everything from a place of abundance, prosperity, light, and love. And I do the thing with my glasses because the perspective that we are looking at life through in spirituality and in storytelling is bringing light into our awareness, light into our reality. And that is the perspective that I share with you each and every video here on this channel. If you haven't already done so, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I appreciate all of my awesome subscribers. Thank you guys so much for being a part of this journey with me and for joining into the stuff that I share with you each and every day. I also appreciate your comments. I join into the energy of your comments and the energy of you because I am committed to helping you become the best version of yourself. That is what growth farming is all about. So at the very beginning of this video, I asked you what story you are fully unwaveringly and loyally committed to. And this is, a, this is something that has become a big revelation and realization in my life because I have to admit, while I have done a whole bunch of stuff on my self-concept over the past several years, I haven't always been unwaveringly loyal to the story that I have created for myself that I've been affirming and journaling and meditating on because, as probably you know and has been a part of your experience, the old story likes to come back and remind me of how things really are. Or the outside world does a good job of that too. And there's all kinds of different people that will tell you that you have to focus on the facts. You have to focus on what is actually real. And you can't live in this fantasy delusional world where whatever you conjure up inside your mind is what you give your attention to and you think is real. Well, as a spiritual person and as somebody who is connected to the divine intelligence that is infinite and abundant, you know, as well as I do, that logic and reason-based thinking is subject to all kinds of change and also subject to all kinds of fallacy because everything that exists was once imagined and we have access to the divine limitless, infinite, abundant intelligence, which has the capacity to bless us in every way, shape, and form that we can imagine and beyond. What the universe also does is it gives back to us what we continue to give to it through our thoughts and our feelings. So if we are not being unwaveringly loyal to the desired reality and the desired story that we want to experience, then we're going to continue to get a mixture of all kinds of different things floating into our lives. And actually something that I've experienced a lot of and that I'm coming into a greater awareness of and making a gigantic shift and change is if I really want to consistently daily live out my dreams, I've got to practice a very strong mental diet and become the observer of what my thoughts are. And so when the old story comes back of, 
oh, you tried that before and it didn't work, so it's not going to work this time. Or remember, these people are always like this, or that person never does anything that is any good, or these people aren't going to support you, or whatever the story may be. Become aware of that, but not attached to it. Because if you attach to that thought, you're giving it energy and you're making it real. And so the universe might be receiving multiple different things. Oh, you're saying that you are abundant and that you're successful and that you're loved, but then you're also telling me that you're rejected and people don't want to have anything to do with what it is that you're doing. And stuff is always hard and it's struggle. Well, I don't know which one of these things you want me to actually give you, so I'm going to just wait until you make up your mind. And that's why we have to be unwaveringly loyal to the unseen reality within. This is what Neville talks about in several of his books when he talks about having a strong mental diet. Our mental diet is not only what we are feeding ourselves, but also what we're focusing on. Because where focus goes, energy flows. And faith is about having unwavering loyalty to the unseen reality or unseen story that we have made inside our imagination. And I'm learning that the reason why affirmations work so well and meditation works so well and journaling works so well and scripting works so well and state akin to sleep imagining works so well, all of these different things are reminders for us to stay in that state where not only are we thinking about our desires, but we're, we're looking at them from a different perspective. Instead of it being something that we want to happen in the future, we're bringing the future into the present and we're feeling the feeling of what it feels like to be that person right now. And we're choosing in those moments to be unwavering in our loyalty to ourselves because we're the ones that have written our self-concept. And all of this work that we're doing and growing into the best version of us is about growing our self-concept to reflect back to us what it is that we are creating on the inside of us. And yes, it is thinking, it's also a whole lot of feeling and remembering that the feeling is the secret. I had this beautiful experience yesterday that I want to share with you guys right now because it has helped me to really come into a greater awareness and greater realization and revelation of what it is that I'm talking about here when it comes to aligning with the desire, aligning with the story. I spent some time in meditation yesterday just with my hand over my heart and my focus entirely on my heart and saying a simple affirmation over and over and over again and feeling it. I am blessed beyond my wildest dreams. I encourage you to do that today. Do it right now. Put your hand over your heart, breathe in, and put your focus on your heart and feel your heart and say to yourself, I am blessed beyond my wildest dreams. I am blessed beyond my wildest dreams. I am blessed beyond my wildest dreams. I just laid in that place of meditation for a long time. And the more that I said that to myself, the more I could feel my heart radiating. There was this warmth that took over me. And I could feel it all throughout my body. And I felt like I was surrounded by this glowing light of abundance and love. And I just kept repeating that simple phrase. I'm actually feeling a warmth in my heart right now. This is incredibly powerful. Are you feeling it too? Be loyal to this story. Make this your story. You are blessed beyond your wildest dreams. It is a simple affirmation. You probably have been affirming a lot for a long time. You probably have been journaling a lot. You probably have been scripting a lot or meditating a lot. And if you haven't been doing a lot, it doesn't matter. But you have been doing these things. You've been telling yourself these stories these stories that you want to be true. And as you're experiencing the growth and the transformation and these things starting to come into your life, don't stop the process because the process is ongoing. Keep going with the work and feel it. Feel it to be real now. Remind yourself that this is who you are right now. It's not a future thing that you're going to get to at some point. Like I said in one of my previous videos, the promised land is your identity. It's who you are right now. It's not a distant place that you're going to get to when you finally pass all the tests. That's not what it's about. The tests are for your ongoing growth and your ongoing transformation. But pass or not passing, I don't really believe that God does failure. 
whether or not you make it through the test with a 100% score or a 5% score, doesn't matter. It's all preparation for your, for your best good. But the purpose of that isn't to keep you in, let you pass into the promised land or keep you out. You are the promised land. So be the promised land now. And be unwaveringly loyal to the promised land that you are. To your dream reality. Make it your present fact right now. And if it doesn't feel like it's real right now, that's totally cool. That's the way that it is for a lot of, if not most of us, especially and including all of the big uh, law of attraction, law of assumption experts and gurus here on YouTube. They're going through their stuff too. They're facing challenges and tribulations and things that are coming up that are helping them grow into the best version of themselves and be unwaveringly loyal to their story. We have to persist when the opposite of what it is that we want shows up because the persistence makes it harden into fact. That's one, another one of Neville's key teachings. You're making an assumption that what it is that you desire is not a distant fantasy. It's a present reality. An assumption, though false, meaning though not present in your reality right now, if you persist in it and you are unwaveringly loyal to it, it will harden into fact. You will experience it in your everyday three-dimensional reality. That's the way 4D quantum reality works. So the challenge for us isn't to overcome all of the challenges that might be presented in front of us. The real challenge is what story are we going to be unwaveringly loyal to? I'm choosing to be unwaveringly loyal to my best story and to remind myself that every day and not obsessed with trying to make it happen because that's not my job. That's God's job. The how and the when, that's in the divine's hands. I just get to decide what it is that I want to experience. And so do you. If you're on board with this and on board with being unwaveringly loyal to your desires, to your story, drop down in the comments below and let me know. You want some help with this? I've just released a brand new book that will help you reshape your self-concept. It is by that title, Reshape Your Self-Concept. Transform into your best life, I think is the subtitle. I'll put a link for it in the description below. I promise you, the things that I share with you in that book, very, very simple tools, don't take a lot of time. You can listen to the whole audiobook or read the whole book in one single setting. It will revolutionize your life and it will help you transform into the best version of you. I appreciate you. I love you. I'll see you again soon.